I didn't mean to hit the go button, but it went. Oh, you recording now, huh? Yeah, well. I'm still getting the fire set up. I know, I like it. I think this will work here. I like it when you do manly things, like build a fire. I've heard. Mm -hmm. I've heard you like that. I do. Abby says, I love it when you do manly things. I said, I'm just a man doing man things. She goes, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> not all men do what you do. No, that's true. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I just use these tumbleweeds. It's an easy way to start a fire, both for charcoal and for a wood uh, fire like this. This method works really good. Stack it like a log cabin and light it up. I got to get the uh, lighter over here. And you have your charcoal going. Yep, we got a basket of charcoal. I need to dump those, so let me get this lit. We're gonna get the pit barrel going. Nice. Those tumbleweeds work really good. And usually this, this wood that you buy, it's kiln drying, dried, so it burns pretty easy. So that'll, that's four tumbleweeds in there. That should get that blaze it up pretty good. Small basket of hot charcoal briquettes, ready to go. And what is on the menu for today, sir? We are doing pot roast today. Yeah. Pot roast. And what I'm gonna do first is um, we're gonna smoke it for about an hour in the pit barrel. And then um, after we smoke it, we'll put it in the, the Dutch oven and cook it for, I don't know, two or three more hours or so until it gets nice and tender. I love that. So, we, uh, we decided to stay in today. Yep. So we can enjoy this beautiful camp spot. Yeah, this has been probably our best camping campsite so yes. far on the trip. Yes, it has. And we uh, loved Sleeping Bear Dunes. So we're probably gonna go back and do some stuff because I'm making him go back and do some specific things. Yeah, so today's Saturday. We, uh, such beautiful weather and we haven't really had any days to just hang right here and do nothing except for cook, hang out by the campfire, relax, have a cold drink, you know, unwind. So that's what we're doing today. Tomorrow will be our last day on Sunday. So I think we'll get back out and do another excursion or two tomorrow. Yes. Before we head out of here. I yeah. wanna, I'm making him, or I'm, I've asked him if we can go back and visit someplace that I really loved, so. Well, she really likes Leland. I love that. So place. I think she wants to go back there, but yes, we I haven't do. decided. We may go down to Frankfurt and uh, get in one of the lighthouses. I think we're going to do both of those things. We Maybe might do both tomorrow, tomorrow is an early morning. I think tomorrow is going to be early morning. Get your butt up and uh, get ready. Rude. And hit the road <laughs> <laughs> before everybody else does. <laughs> All right, we're going to get the roast on here uh, in a few minutes. Get that great hot. All right, we're rolling some good smoke with our charcoal, one piece of pecan wood. This is our, this is our chuck roast. That's a hunk of meat. We bought this up at the market in um, Glen Arbor. That's, I can't remember the name of the market, but that's where we got it. Seasoned up, salt, pepper, and garlic. All right, and we're just gonna give this a smoke for about an hour. And then once we smoke it, we'll move it over to the Dutch oven and uh, start braising it for a while. Let it get tender. Yep. So we'll get our little camp set up and we'll do our patio chat. What do you say? I think we should. Okay. So we smoked our chuck roast in the pit barrel for an hour and I moved it over to the lodge 12 inch camp oven. We're going to cook it right over the campfire here. 
I am using my deflector plate. That is to help distribute the intense heat around the pot some. We're not up to temp, we're still getting, getting warm here, but there's your uh, roast, smoked. And I used, I bought a, bo uh, a jar of beef bone broth. And that's what we're gonna simmer it in. This will probably take two to three hours. We're gonna let it cook till it gets really tender and then we're gonna add our root veggies after that, cook them for about another hour or so. And uh, this should turn out really good. So we got our uh, pot roast behind Abby there cooking. It's doing nicely. These are the vegetables that we'll throw in there later. So we have carrots, potatoes, uh, fresh peeled garlic, and onions. I think you need some more garlic. Yep. I like garlic, so I like to I like to eat these guys whole, just right out of the pot like that. So it's uh, it's looking good. We'll give you a peek here in about ten minutes. See what it looks like. Oh yeah, cooking nicely. So we've been cooking for two hours now and it should be getting nice and tender, so Yep, you can see that it's braising nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all the vegetables and we're gonna dump them in there. All right, there's our vegetables right there. Man down already? No think. I like what's happening here. Mm-hmm. I do too. We're missing some color. There it is. There's some of that splash of orange in there. Yeah. How about that? And this one's still good. Look at that, right there. All right, so we're gonna put the lid back on. I'm gonna go ahead and fire off another chimney full of uh, briquettes for the top here. How much longer? Uh, one more hour after this. We'll, those should be done in an hour. 